For a very long time, Warren Buffett has been considering inflation. According to biographers, the renowned 91-year-old investor had his Republican congressman father frequently lecture him about the risks of inflation throughout his investing career. The highest inflation rate in 40 years occurred in February 2022 when consumer prices rose 7.9% over the previous year. Gasoline and used car prices both increased by nearly 40%. In today's video, we'll be sharing how to make money during inflation. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Let's begin. At the Berkshire Hathaway annual meeting last year, Buffett stated, We're seeing very substantial inflation. We're raising prices. People are raising prices to us, and it's being accepted. So why do investors worry so much about inflation? Your purchasing power gradually decreases due to inflation, which is a general cost increase. If inflation rises significantly, this might cause what initially looks to be a positive return for investors, to, although owning a bond earning 5% interest per year may seem like a wise investment. If inflation rises to 6%, your actual return becomes negative. Reviewing some of Buffett's greatest recommendations for thwarting what he once referred to as a gigantic corporate parasite as prices continue to climb significantly is worthwhile. Buffett has long supported holding companies that provide significant returns on the cash put in the company. Businesses with modest capital requirements that can keep their profits should perform better during inflationary periods than those that must invest more money at ever higher prices merely to hold on to their position. Buffett recently compared facing inflation's difficulties to racing up and down an escalator. He advised searching for businesses that may rise prices during times of higher inflation. The single most important decision in evaluating a business is pricing power, Buffett told the Financial Crisis Inquiry Commission. You've got the power to raise prices without losing business to a competitor, and you've got a very good business. A company has a significant advantage during periods of high inflation if it can raise prices because it can balance its rising costs. According to Buffett, an unregulated toll bridge would be the best asset to hold in an inflationary environment because you could have built the bridge previously and raised the price to counteract inflation. You build the bridge in old dollars and you don't have to keep replacing it. Buffett advised shareholders that one of the easiest ways to keep their purchasing power over time is to invest in their skills. The top doctor or attorney in a city or town benefits from an education paid for with old dollars, but they can charge their clients with today's money without retraining. Consider adding a new skill to your resume by enrolling in a local institution or using internet resources. Even while earning higher degrees can be pricey, they can expand your knowledge base and make you an invaluable employee in the long run. Your ability to command your fair share of revenues over time will increase as you become more valuable to your firm and its clients. Bonds are not the place to be these days, Buffett wrote in his 2020 letter to Berkshire shareholders. With interest rates still near historically low levels, bond investors could be hurt significantly in an inflationary environment. Buffett has noted that buying a 10-year bond with the yield of 2% is comparable to paying 50 times earnings for a company, with the important exception being that the bond's earnings cannot increase. Fixed income investors worldwide, whether pension funds, insurance companies, or retirees, if we dropped $1 million of cash into every household in the United States today, everybody would feel very good, except the people invested in things denominated in dollars or in Buffett. He claims that holding a currency whose value is being inflated away by an excessive supply of that currency is the worst thing you can do in an inflationary climate. The loss of purchasing power is detrimental to savings, bonds, and money market accounts that pay little or no interest. This is why, in times of inflation, Buffett invests money that has been sitting on the sidelines. Instead of attempting to predict future inflation, Buffett examines the pace and trends of current inflation and modifies portfolio purchases while adhering to his long-term investment strategy. Unfortunately, most businesses will not come out well in real terms during inflation. Their earnings may go up a fair amount over time, but they are compelled to put more and more dollars into the business just to stay in the same place. You know, the worst kind of a business is one that makes you put more money on the table all the time and doesn't give you greater earnings. Warren Buffett According to Buffett, businesses with low returns on tangible assets struggle with return on equity since they must continually reinvest their profits into the company and find it challenging to raise cash for expansion and equipment upgrades. 
These businesses must make a significant upfront capital investments to operate, making them capital intensive in the beginning and dependent on their suppliers for price at the beginning of the production process. Avoid investing in businesses that lack the pricing capacity to cover their rising labor and production costs. If a business can only raise pricing with clients, if it sees a drop in volume and sales, it will lower its profit margin percent and experience a drop in overall profitability in dollars, even though its price and sales will stay the same. Businesses unable to pass on their cost inflation to customers run the risk of going bankrupt if they lack the funds or credit to continue operating when their earnings dry up. I will say this about gold, if you took all the gold in the world, it would roughly make a cube 67 feet on a side. Now, for that same cube of gold, it would be worth at today's market prices about $7 trillion. That's probably about a third of the value of all the stocks in the United States. For $7 trillion, you could have all the farmland in the United States. You could have about 7 Exxon Mobiles, Exxon, and you could have a trillion dollars of walking around money. And if you offered me the choice of looking at some 67-foot cube of gold and looking at it all day, you know, me touching it and fondling it occasionally, call me crazy, but I'll take the farmland and the Exxon Mobiles. Warren Buffett. Gold, artwork, and real estate are examples of non-productive assets that keep their value during inflation as a hedge against a declining currency but they don't generate cash flow or have any other kind of economic worth. As a hedge against a recession, Buffett prefers to keep shares of companies that produce commodities like gold and oil. When he was young, he also acquired farms that he owned and produced a harvest every year. He prefers investing in cash-flowing assets over all other asset classes, especially during periods of inflation, as seen by his recent purchases of gold mining and oil companies. Warren claims you can invest in businesses with low capital requirements and large capital returns. Businesses with well-known names, excellent profit margins, and little need for financing, such as Coca-Cola and Seize Candy, which Buffett owns. Additionally, prosperous software firms like Microsoft can scale their goods digitally while maintaining low operating costs. Investing in firms with pricing power allows you to raise prices in line with inflation without losing clients or business. Regardless of price, they have a good or service that people continuously need or want. You can also invest in business with little to no cash need, make regular capital additions, and have room on their balance sheets for leverage. They have little debt, a lot of cash, and an excellent cash flow. One of these businesses is Apple. It's still difficult to predict whether the current inflation rise will persist or if it will begin to decline. If you're worried about growing inflation, you might heed Warren Buffett's advice and invest in productive assets like high-quality companies with modest capital requirements rather than low-yielding bonds whose payouts don't align with inflation. That's all from this video. We'll be back soon with another informative video. Don't forget to like and share this video. Until next time.